Yeah. I heard. I misheard the whispers of the wind. Yeah. I heard Kadita, but the wind was telling me, Kaja, Kaja. He heard the he heard the ka. He assumed it was the the Dita. Yeah. He went with the. It actually ka. was actually yeah. was the jaw. Okay. He heard the ka. The ka. The ka. The ka. The ka. 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 <laughs> Where's Leo? <laughs> yeah. Where the heck's Leo? Yeah, there's ka. no Matilda here, but Kaja is a bird, and again, <laughs> it is a good pick because they needed something to respond to the Fanny. Yeah. Kaja just flew out of my radar because this only. Who thing. does that? This is the second time we've seen Kaja this season. The first time was a single ban. Oh yeah! It was just a ban. It was by like Omega. a ban out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, Omega just banned Kaja, and then now for the second time we'll see Kaja, but finally get picked, which is a great pick. Wow! Yeah, it is the response to the fanny. Yeah, it's a great tool to uh, target again, like we were saying. This, I mean, Demon Kite's pretty scary in the fanny, and now they have a great answer for it. So yeah. again, we're gonna find out if TNC, TNC can have a better game number two here as we jump into the land of dawn, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to game number two. Can I just praise? Um, TNC here, so willing to take a risk. This is something that d does not really pay off One usually, risk. like taking a yeah. Kaja. Oh, the Kaja's uh, a risk. An untested risk. Yeah. Which they, in their minds, is so good against Demon Kite, against the uh, the Fanny. Yep. But it's also very difficult to actually land, you know. Yeah. When you. Depending on the Fanny player. Oh. He's already started it up. Hurry up. Yep. Right there, level 2 right now. Demon Kite's actually quite low. So he will not try any hijinks yet. Try to focus on that buff instead. Yeah. So they win that little skirmish, right? Demon Kai's not able to do much there. And again, this is what I think TNC has to do. They have to stay together like this. They have great tool also. You got to remember that Ben Whoa. Things is on the Lolita. <laughs> the counter flicker. <laughs> I love that. All so right. Ben Things is on the Lolita, right? So he has a great option for a stun, and then you have the Divine Judgment paired with it. So they actually have quite a bit of tools to handle yeah. Demon Kite. But what about the rest of RSG? That is true. Brody's gonna get pummeled and smashed and put a, put that put the you know put the pieces. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Esmeralda actually can survive pretty hefty damage. Karina has that anti attack, but. It only works against normal attacks. Anti-physical no only yeah. works against normal attacks, right? Yeah. Uh, All right. Mm. Yeah. Uh, TNT, the AOE burst damage is quite lacking. The only source of AOE burst damage technically that they have is Yasuo's Brody, but that's only if he could get multiple marks out onto the members of RSG and make the most out of a two or three mark torn apart memory ultimate. But TNC does have a lot of single target burst in spades, so RSG just need to watch their positioning as well, make sure they play compact. But then at the same time, uh, TNC, their oh, own oh, formation oh. might be split Speaking apart. of positioning, look at that. Beautiful Abyssal Strike actually is not really enough to whittle down the rest of TNC. Although right now, SD, despite that pretty hefty kill on the Ben Things, will still be able to get that through. Wow, I am surprised there, right? I, I figured RSG would have a little better time there. Oh, that was barely enough to take down Aqua. And and then again, that actually is a pretty solid mid lane controller, that Kaja. Yeah. I gotta say, it's working. Yeah, it's the extra bounce that he gets from those basic attacks, and it's yeah. helping keep Aqua at bay. But the, at the same time, he's also getting a lot of help of uh, with Ben Things to keep Aqua. Uh, out. Now he has to be careful with his positioning there, but here in the mid, who gets this lethal one? Right. Oh man, I think, uh, there you go. In the end, SD, I think, will get it. Yep. Uh, no, no, no. Yes. All right. Demon, Demon Kite did Kite get it. it. So, these are small things, but you know what? These small things add up, especially with heroes like the Fanny. Yeah. The, the battle of the retributions is what we're seeing here, right? And I mean, even in the turtle, we saw, I think both were, were used up for that turtle find and, yeah. uh, you know, may the best man win when it comes to the retributions. But again, this is uh, going to be the story here of Cram and Naz kind of finding the pacing for each other. And notice Cram, right? He has the sprint, so that's going to be beneficial for him later on if he can have a much better game. But now... There you go, another big engagement here, which will not really lead to much. It's like, it's more like they're clearing the waves with that. And again, TNC, uh, RG members not really afraid to share that experience alongside Demon Kite, even before it's optimal. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice flicker in though. Oh, sorry, that's oh, a great hook, but again, the follow-up is actually pretty nice. good as well. The assassination on the back, the knife to the victim. That perfect assassin, Demon Kaja, oh, will get caught cover. out. And there you go. That is exactly why you pick up the Kaja. That, oh, oh Light's not done. SD no. wants more, man. SD no. wants more. He gets his one. SD. And that is a double. 
Dude, like, this is the thing, right? You, you, Demon Kai is not able to actually do much because, once again, that Divine Judgment is so valuable here. And then SD can come in and clean up. So, again, this is the right pacing for TNC. They're having a lot better time here. Not to mention Cram is able to just kind of patiently farm in the lane. I mean, this is, again, where he really excels here and can develop into the game, especially mid-game ahead of us. Yeah, a much closer game this time around. Um... TNC though, I feel like they have the higher potential to actually just get two, three kills right out of the gate uh, and force RSG back. But RSG, again, they are going to be very hook dependent. But T if TNC aren't careful and they don't watch their health and their life in team fights or in little skirmishes, high, more chances than not, Demon Kai will be swooping in to clean up jobs. In fairness though, they are making their hooks matter anymore. Yeah. They're making it count, so yeah. not bad. Except that one. That one right there. That yeah, one. There, I mean, there you go. All right. Yeah, I thought you were going to say something else. Yeah, that one. Exactly. So, it's just good that Benfic is always on foot. Oh, wait a second. Light. Pretty low, though. Can't really withstand much of that uh, ring of order. So, yeah. that's also a big per perk of having a Kaja that actually is... His skills actually do hurt as well. Not just being... Not just the ult. Really, really good. So far right now, Benfix is in trouble. Demon Kite oh. knows he doesn't have actual, you know, anti-melee. Mm. Wants to get some of that blade into the Lolita, but has that shield in to help him out. Top lane, right. fight Good with play. a flicker in. Conceal the field, don't let it show, and that's gonna be for Yasuo. He goes down. Demon gonna get that tower as oh, well, but yeah. Escalera, he knows where you're going. Gets at least one answer there for you that thought. tower. <laughs> you thought. <Yeah. laughs> you sneaky boy, you. I know where you are. Oh, oh but come <laughs> at the same time. Emma knew where Escalero was, and Emma gets the kill. Both teams trading very well. No one with a massive lead just yet. Going into this next turtle, this could be the first big fight of the game. Yo. Crab and Nas having their own duel there in the bottom. Let's see what happens. It's a turtle. There's a catch by Ben. Yeah, Demon Kite very proactive in getting those damage in. He wants to wield down the opposition before the fight starts so he can get a better hook or a better kill here if ever someone becomes antsy. It's three members of DNC with right. Escalera very close by. And you know what? Common Collect. Demon Kite gets that retribution. He gets that turtle. The flicker. Newman not blast though Ooh. will be helping out but not that much Escalera can't really take the damage coming out from Ammon and the flicker in the damage the oh wow oh, that was actually really good by Cram but will it be enough though oh. I think it will oh, no. that's gonna be a kill on to Yasuo Aqua will not have enough oh, Demon down. Oh. oh Demon Kai they want to go for the kill they want more they are gone for blood and they get a double on the mid Man, talk about jam-packed action there and just everywhere around the map. Demon Kai able to grab some kills there, but at the same time, Cram having a much better game here. He did only get one kill, but he's playing with a lot more confidence and decision making here. So this is still anyone's game. And right now, man, RSG has to be careful. Very, very scrappy game. Taking a look at the items right now. Hunter Strike and a Brute Force Breastplate picked up there by Demon Kai. Now, Eman actually also went for the early Malefic Roar, so he's gonna be able to deal a lot of damage. He needs to do that considering that one of the biggest threats to him is a, a jungle Karina building tank items, and of course, the Esmeralda in general. So having that extra physical uh, armor, da oh, armor reduction is really great. Ooh, Light Man, that was the wrong bush to check. We'll get easily taken out by four members of TNC. Demon Kai is close by, maybe they can go for a punish here. He's gonna be careful. He's gonna play a smart here, but SD could be looking for something. But as you were saying, Renmar, you know, the itemization wise and everything, they they it, it's gonna come down to that plus the execution because we're seeing a very scrappy game. Oh, but Demon oh. Kai. Yeah, and Demon Kai wants to keep it that way, gets a lot of oh, damage wow. in. Wow. And this oh, is the oh, reason oh, why Demon Kai is the wow. Demon King. Did you see that? No room for reaction here with TNC. And the rest of the team comes in for the cleanup. Well, as soon as I said it's still anybody's game, Demon Christ, no. Uh, yeah, not on. really nice, so he says. <laughs> it's our game. It's our game right there. And what the, the Demon King, watch this. What the heck? He planned it out. You thought Demon Kite would be the one who would get caught by TNC, but the members of RSG was near, were nearby. Demon Kite cleaning house. 
double kill and he wants more. But nope, he backs oh off because he wants Nash to take it instead. Oh. Escape by Crab, the punish by TNT. It's a lot of flickers going out there, being burned off, and just goes to show how close these teams are in terms of mechanics, though, right? So, yeah, good stuff here from RSG, but our TNT, again, always ready to answer. Yeah, I feel like that was a little miscommunication. Like, Demon Kite's like, I'm out of here, and Nav is like, no, I got this. Yeah. And then he gets taken out. So, um, a little miscommunication there, but RSG still obviously not having a nice lead here. They got to be careful, though, because, again, TNT is still a team that knows how to punish mistakes like they, just there, uh, like they did just there. And now they're focusing up staying together. I mean, this is what they're going to have to do, especially now relying on Escalera here to find those right Divine Judgment picks and then to follow it up here. Yasuo definitely is starting to get some damage. He's got that Blade of Despair already, almost completing a second item, big item. And I feel like that's going to be the turning point here for TNC. Yeah, turning point here is a hook from light. Look at this, come on. Get one. Oh, oh, so close. You're at the edge of it. Here's a re-engage from TNC though. They're not going to be able to get any punishes down, but they will be able to put a good position to get for that Lord. But Real World will lock out four members. That's a lot of people going oh. red, and Demon Guy wants blood, but will be punished. There goes the answer. The Kaja difference stops the Demon King from unleashing. Hell, Wrath, and Fury. Yeah, but yeah. all that effort did not stop RSG from breaking Uninhibitor. RSG are in the lead and in control. TNC, they have the answers for a Fanny. Maybe they just don't have enough answers for everyone else. Let's see how TNC Man. will adjust. Aqua now on this Eve. Fantastic positioning. Ice Queen Wand being a, being a huge item pickup. Boom! Cram being evaporated. Not really something you see Esmeralda actually, you know. Experiencing here in these matchups. Oh, done. No, oh, not done here. Here's the re-engage. Light will go down though. Real world is in. We'll slow down Ben Ping's SD is very tanky, but will it be enough? I think so. That's the disengage, and TNC looks like they're able to at least withstand some pressure. Some of these blows from RSG if RSG is not fully committed. Yeah, now the difference in dynamics is very evident here. Because let's look at the mages. RSG, that's a strong team fighting mage. TNC have great picks in terms of being able to burst down a single target. What we're seeing is TNC, yes, they're able to burst down a single target incredibly well, but they usually use most of their tools that in the since they have an Eve on the side of RSG to, to contend against, they're getting counter punished in the team fights that follow after TNC get to find that catch maybe a slight readjustment in terms of the abilities they use when they use it yeah. have a little bit more in the bag once the ultimate of the Kaj is expended so that you can continue fighting that might be the secret for TNC yeah you gotta get that divine judgment out man oh. that's a big deal that's a great talk from Light right there takes out Cram. The fight is still ongoing, and Demon Kai is on the back. Yasuo will force a flicker out there. Escalera will be taken out. That's double. And another one SD. for Nath, though. SD is fighting back hard. It's a 1v2, though. Whoa. It's a 1v4, actually. It will be a wipe out. This could be really wow. bad. That is a triple kill for Emman. And this could be the GG push. RSG is on point. And they are going to go and take game number two. Whoa. RSG. They are not Ooh. kidding around, and that is Demon Kite once again on the fanny. What a performance. Well, who opened up that last sequence? The MVP of the regular season, Light. Play around the hook, and in that last sequence, they did. TNC are one game away from being swept, and RSG are on the way. One game away to secure their slot. In